Hello students, in this video we are going to learn how to find the HCF of 60 and 114. We will be using the prime factorization method for finding the HCF of two numbers. In prime factorization method, we divide numbers using prime numbers and find the common factors of the number. So let's start by finding the factors of 60 and then we'll find the factors of 114. So 60 can be easily divided by first prime number 2 so 2 times 3 is 6 2 times 0 is 0 again we can divide by 2 2 times 1 is 2 1 is remainder this becomes 10 2 times 5 is 10 15 is an odd number it is not divisible by number 2 so we will take next prime number 3 3 times 5 is 15 and 5 is a prime number it is divisible by 5 5 times 1 is 5 so we got the factors of 60 which are on the left hand side of the ladder now we will find the factors of 114. So 114 is an even number. It is easily divisible by number 2. 2 times 5 is 10. 1 is remainder. This becomes 14. 2 times 7 is 14. Now 57 is not divisible by number 2. We, we are going to use next prime number 3. 3 times 1 is 3. 2 is remainder. This becomes 27. 3 times 9 is 27. And 19 is a prime number. It is divisible by 19. 19 times 1 is 19. So we got the factors of 114 too. So now, now we are going to write the factors of both the numbers. Factors of 60 is 2 times 2 times 3 times 5. And the factors of 114 are 2 times 3 times 19. Now we are going to find the common factors in between the two numbers. So here we see that first prime number first prime number 2 is common to both the numbers. Then there is a common factor of 3 in between both the numbers. So the two common factors in between the two numbers are 2 and 3. For finding the HCF we are going to take the product of these two factors. Product of the common factors is 2 times 3 which is going to be the HCF of the two numbers. So the HCF of two numbers is 2 times 3 which 2 times 3 which is 6. So this is how we find the HCF of two numbers easily using the prime factorization method. I hope this video is helpful to you. If you like the video please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more math videos. Thanks for watching.